With over 50% of Nigeria's population under 20, there is a better time or no better time to channel our resources and energies to this demography. Otherwise, we will not be proud of the future we eventually have. To discuss the importance of mentoring young people within the millennials, as we often call them, is the visionary and founder of God's Own Diva Club, a life coach, uh, Akomolafe. Thanks for joining us virtually. Thank you for having me. All right. <laughs> Your vision, it seems apt due to the prevalence of the obvious generation gap. So how do we feel this gap through mentorship? Um, the fact that there is even a gap is an issue because from the beginning, life has been designed um, to pass on knowledge and intuition and values through mentorship. So it's essential that every generation must pass on knowledge from one to the other. And that is how mentorship works. Mentorship is lifestyle training, is training by experience, is going, is me, you following me where I have gone so that you can join you know, and learn from my mistakes. So God has designed life actually to work through mentorship. That's why parents teach their children and their children pass it on to the next generation. So each generation um, is trained by those who have gone ahead of them. So the only way to fill the generation gap is through mentorship. It's through mentorship. You just talked about the need for information, parents passing down that knowledge to their children. But no thanks to the survival instinct, especially in a cosmopolitan state like Lagos, where many parents hardly have a time for their kids due to long hours in traffic and work. So how do you suggest they manage their time? Well, it's, a, it's an issue that is not going to go anywhere. But I believe that it's going to all boil down at the end of the day to priorities. Um, somehow we all make time for things that are really important to us. And um, out of no time, we still find time to do the things that really matter. So if we prioritize you know, the mentorship of our children and giving them time, somehow in the craziness and the busyness of this life, we will still find time somehow to give them the time that they need, you know, create weekends, you know, um, take some time off work. Thanks to COVID, now we can work from home. And also, we all have to look for intrigue and innovative ways, you know, to find time for the things that matter to us. So I'll say priorities. It all boils down to priorities. And uh, talking about work-life balance, especially for women, mm -hmm. the challenge today is that many women are considered as liabilities when not working. So how should they manage these two demands of work and uh, managing the home? I believe that um, in any situation you find yourself, you can make the best of it wherever you are. Um, work-life balance is something that we we'll always have to find a way. We, we can't do it alone. So we need help. So it's, it's something that we have to learn to find help in, in areas that we need help with, you know. But at the same time, a woman, even when she's not working, she can be very productive. Um, I don't believe that as a woman, you should be a liability in any way. Even if you are not, even if you are at home and you're taking care of the children, you don't have to be a liability. You can be very resourceful. We women are very resourceful people. You know, so you can find a way to, to make the best of every season of life that you find yourself in. Even if you're not, even if you are not working, or even if you're working, you make the best of every situation and every season that you find yourself in. So I wouldn't say that you should think yourself as a liability ever. In whatever situation you find yourself in, make the best of it. Mm. That's what I'll say. And uh, let's talk about your area of impact. Why 11 to 16 years as target? Okay, so if I say that, I like to see that you know, God's Own Diva Club is organizing um, uh, an annual teenage conference, and um, we do this every year. And this year, we're, we're holding one on the 3rd of October. It's a virtual conference. Um, we're calling on for registration. People should register on God's Own Diva Club. And our target, like you said, is the demography of 11 to 16, because we believe that that is the explorer season of a child. So a child is just coming out of there finding themselves at that age where everything, they, they listen to mommy and daddy for everything. But by the time they get to that age of 11 to 16, they, need, they, they want to be influenced greatly by external resources or external forces. So at that time, is the time to really come into their lives and show them the way to go so that they don't make mistakes. 
Um, they're very, very, very um, easily influenced at that stage. They want to see what's going on. So what we do is that we present people who have made a, a, a somewhat of a success of their lives, people who have been through ups and downs, and they found their way through the maze of life. And they've been able to achieve something substantial. So we present these people to them and say, look, I did it, and I, and I arrived well. I, you know, I went through all the things that one goes through, and I made it somehow. Learn from me, learn from my experience. And that is why we go, we target that 11 to 16, because we believe that that is the time they're very impressionable, and we can, you know, um, show them the right way to go by exerting godly influences on them. And how do you navigate in this COVID-19 challenges? COVID-19 is a season of innovation. It has to be innovation. You just have to innovate. Like they say, innovate or die. Um, there's a new normal. You have to think of um, ways that to do things, you know, that, that you were doing before, but in a new way to keep safe and all that. For example, this is the first time we're having a virtual conference. We've always had our conferences with girls um, and, and in camp. We've, we've hosted them before, but now we can't host them again. But you know what? COVID-19 gives us an opportunity to reach people that we've never been able to reach before because now we're virtual. So it's about innovation, innovate or die. So COVID-19 brings us a new normal. And the key to opening that new normal is innovation. Thank you very much for sharing your thoughts with us on The Breakfast. Thank you very much for having me. It's a Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.